Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passage. Just kidding. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to have a quick little think, talk, plan, idea, discussion, uh, and predictions for Captain Marvel, whose uh, movie is premiering tonight, I suppose, or premiering in a couple of days ago, but we're actually, it will be uh, arriving to cinemas tomorrow of the 8th of March, or well, I suppose actually whenever this video goes live, it'll be today. So this is just my thoughts and predictions that are going to happen for Captain Marvel uh, and how it affects the MCU and how it will actually uh, tie in to Endgame and how this character could possibly and probably will appear in Endgame considering the key scene at the end of the last movie at the very end after people got dusted was showing her which could also literally mean that she's gone back to space and we'll never see her again and the warning message was sent out and just that logo was designed to get us all hyped, hyped after the end of the last one um, so Captain Marvel if you don't know who Captain Marvel is, Captain Marvel is a Marvel comic books character who was initially a Kree warrior who came to Earth um, under the name, whose name was Captain Marvel, and then ended up uh, over a period of time and many years changed into a female Captain Marvel who was Carol Danvers, a Air Force pilot that actually um, kind of uh, was the Lois Lane uh, or. I'll send you, yeah, it was Lois Lane or Jimmy, um, pretty much kind of best friend character, and quite, I'm pretty sure it was a love interest, I think she was, she was a love interest, or was she just a liaison, I think she was a love interest as well, for Captain Marvel back in the early days, um, her back history, her story is so, so convoluted and interesting, that it would be really, really fun to go and check out, um, I always recommend Movie Bob's kind of, uh, The Trouble with Miss Marvel, or Trouble of Captain Marvel kind of like video series. He has a whole run of videos that kind of touch on and talk about moments in her history that were quite um, contentious in their era and still are quite contentious if you think about them now. But uh, this is the MCU. The MCU is going to take all that history and not toss it out the window, but combine it together in that kind of like stretchy, gummy way that it has done with a lot of its actual characters just to kind of uh, present a not a reduced version of the character, but a um, a trimmed version of the character that will kind of give us a good rock bed to build a film series out of. Uh, Captain Marvel's been in production for what? It was three years. Like it was. It's been. In, it was in production, or it was at least in pre-production for a while before that. But I'm trying to. Remember, I think it was actually the shoot for it was two and a half or three years. Trying to, I'm, I'm thinking it was actually. It was, it's because it's been in longer than the Russo brothers have been working on. The um, uh, finales to the Avengers that's actually been going on. So literally, we've got um, a, a, a long term attempt to actually make a character and a playable franchise out of this character. Uh, Carol Danvers had a major push in the comics for the last couple of years because even I I probably stopped buying individual Marvel comics and DC comics or any of the major publishers' comics. A good few years ago but i was still aware of changes in her character um after key events happened in the marvel franchises so literally the uh i've i've grown to love the depiction of captain marvel i'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the movie and the plot of it kind of drives around a alien invasion of earth that she's either uh part of or is trying to stop and in fact you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to roll in this in the background so the um Captain Marvel's trailer is just going to play here in the back. I'm just going to turn off the audio so you can kind of see the picture for it. But the... Um... <sighs> just punching that old lady in the face. The uh, the Kree uh, are in war with the Skrulls. The Skrulls being a shape-shifting species that actually um, invade upon it by dropping sleeper agents in. And in a world that we've actually already had the Hydra, um, we can actually see, obviously, the... Uh, scrolls have actually integrated themselves into society. We we just think about Earth just being a big, massive battleground that actually hasn't really been activated yet. And now that we've actually seen the world that all the superheroes have actually appeared in, the Avengers and everything else, it makes sense to actually kind of tie a lot of the space stuff back to the history of the world. Because even with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I mean, Kurt Russell's... Um, Ego was and literally Kurt, Kurt Russell's ego, not the character ego, just Kurt Russell's ego, had already planted his seeds long, long ago into the comic plant as well. I think it was, it meant, I think that was in the seventies, was it? Uh, late seventies, early eighties. So timeline actually fits for even these kind of events happening. 
they would have actually where all that attention was finally brought on to Earth. Um, obviously, Captain Marvel is going to be the key character in this. Uh, they're uh, tearing herself into a rebellion from the Kree handlers that she has and fighting the Skrulls or taking on both sides and protecting the Earth as her one last defender. It's it's going to be a um, it's going to be an entertaining tale to watch. And in the larger impact, it just means that we have a much longer alien history on Earth that I think has actually been touched upon uh, much more in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series. So this is all being tying together. This is all being prepping itself for a very long time. And I would actually like to know uh, from some of the MCU buffs that might be watching, is there more? that we're Not related to the comic books, but specifically staying within the MCU universe. How many ties and links is there? between um, S.H.I.E.L.D., Fury, alien uh, doppelgangers from the Skrulls, and uh, all of the hijinks that have happened over the last 30 to 40 years in the Marvel Universe. Because literally at one point, there was, in, in with Guardians of the Galaxy, we, we've, we've had literal parts of the planet being converted into a giant, seething, throbbing plant monster. I mean, that's actually in the current timeline. But I'm sure... Most of the alien stuff that actually we've always heard from Roswell to everything else is going to get poked at and prodded and sent you going like we've all we've always known like they, they aren't greys they're greens they're not greens they're blues you know that kind of thing. Uh, Marvel have actually uh, built themselves a, a nice little safe spot of character descriptions and alien races that can actually just cover for absolutely any one of those little conspiracies. Uh, continuing on with Captain Marvel after this movie finishes the way I think it may, uh, she may just very well be back out into space um just going to other worlds the whole point of the little communicator at the end of endgame was literally just to tease the movie coming out but it would actually imply that she could be picking up people along the way on the way back to earth which would just out of the wonderful coincidence of the marvel universe literally have a similar effect as the guardians of the galaxy running into thor or running into the ship that's trying to get back to earth from titan you know, like that, they, there's a reason why these things could be actually of interest. I mean, like, the alien races are going to be watching half the universe disappear. I'm willing to bet the Kree and Scroll are not going to be very happy about half of their population ceasing to exist because some people on Earth didn't manage to stop somebody else. So there, there's uh, plenty of avenues for these characters to actually come, uh, for this character to actually obviously continue to exist and appear inside the modern MCU franchises. But we're going to tie this all over to an end with Endgame, so you never know. Uh, as much as this might be an absolute pleasure to have and the character would actually kind of be as well developed as she is, we could be seeing like a full, like, uh, not recast, but um, retcon of the MCU history as we've known it for the last 10 years. But that is a question for another day whenever Endgame does make its appearance. Not for now. Um, I'm going to be doing a kind of like a quick dirty review of this tomorrow after I go and catch the film. So if you would like to have more opinions or thoughts or you have any questions, um, pop them in the comments below this video. And I'll probably go through a lot of them actually in the video tomorrow after the stream. And I'll stay completely non -sp I'll stay spoilerless as best I can. Um, everything I've said today has been all speculation. Uh, ex all the speculation is just basically coming from the few trailers and background knowledge of the character that I've had from over the years. If any of it is true, then we will have a very fun conversation tomorrow. If it is completely off base, I will apologize. But um, I didn't try to mislead you in any shape or form. Feel free to go and check out Chapter Marvel tomorrow on the 8th of March as it goes live to the rest of the world. And I will be in the queues along with you. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed actually hearing about movies here or talking about the gossip that actually is going around in tech, culture, and gaming, then feel free to actually subscribe to the channel. Little button sitting around there somewhere, as well as a bell for notifications of some sort, I'm sure. If you haven't actually liked supporting channels that make this kind of thing, you can always go to the descriptions underneath my videos and click on any of those. They will actually give you ways you can actually support the channel by clicking on things, doing things that will either expose or actually help me directly at probably no extra cost to yourself. Or if you actually are the kind of person who does like to just give to make sure that these kind of things get made, then of course you can always check out my Patreon on patreon.com forward slash past t skin. Just Google past t skin, you'll find some way to get a hold of me or just read the descriptions underneath any video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next motion picture. <laughs> Bye.